Hey guys, how's it going? Burstfire here, bringing you another video. And today, uh, you're watching episode 34 of From Burstfire to Challenger. All right, so we are playing Trinomir Top versus Garen. Let me just change it over to full screen. Cool. Yeah, there we go. Um, so basically just gonna play early, uh, play safe early, and then we're all good. Uh, let me just alt tab quickly. I think my my sound might be a bit off. Let me check. Uh, okay, that's a bit high. That's why. Okay, right. Sorry about that. Bit of a shaky start, but we are into it. Um. Oof, okay. Alright. So. Okay. Uh, basically top. I'll win after like the first couple levels. I'll win. Uh, Jarvan will just destroy Warwick by out ganking him, but the first gank, so level 3, level 4 or whatever, or the skirmish 2v2 top, I think, uh, Warwick would be better, unless we can, like, pick him out 2v1 or something. Uh, Heimerding is Zed. If Heimerding is good, Zed will just never be able to, to all-in him, like, ever. Um, we're not gonna really trade with the Garen, because we don't need to. Just gonna chill. Play back. We're gonna slow push this first wave, and then hard push the second. So slow pushing basically means you just did a last hit, whatever. Oh, look at that. That's a really good trade for us. He didn't queue. If he queued there, then it might have been bad, but he didn't. Get another thing there. He started this W, did he? Interesting. Maybe I could have played more aggressive then. All right, second wave's here, so we're going to hard shove this. Ignite there wouldn't have killed him because he could flash and then heal with his pot and Durin shield, so it's whatever. Alright, second wave is here. Uh, okay, so we did push a bit slowly, but I mean, at least it's in tower range, you can't freeze it. Okay, the Warwick is top level 2. That's perfectly good for us. Just gonna flash out, Q to heal, and that's gonna be the end of that. So I'm gonna recall. Level 2 Warwick, which means he probably went buff to buff to top which is fine. Obviously we messed up the shove a bit more. If we shoved it fully into tower, then Garen wouldn't have been able to follow up on that gank, but you know, we tried our best and we, we didn't succeed. So that's whatever. We're going to go boots here because we had to do an early recall. Boots are probably the best buy because one, uh, it means that you can like run away from trades because generally if you recall early, it means you lost trade or two, get away from jungle gank. Same thing. Three, get back to lane faster. Four, it's really cheap. Five, everyone buys boots anyway, right? So, boots are usually a pretty good back, uh, good buy if you have about 300 gold. I would have looked for a long sword with 350, but I didn't want to wait for like 30 gold this early on into the game. So you see this situation, he's probably like four minions up. Looks like Jarvan's coming top. I'm gonna take my uh, W now, if I level up. Okay, well I did my best. Garen Flash. I'm going to go Q actually because we already got the kill. If you're like all inning level 3, that's like the only time you take W. If you're not going to all in level 3, then take Q every time because it gives you more AD, more healing, just better in general. Alright, so Garen has no summons now. Okay, we actually win this because he doesn't have his Q. There's the level up we want to take the W and heal just in case. We probably didn't have to, but you know, it's just in case. That's a lol coming out from Garen. Now we have the Warwick thing over our heads, so that means that he could be gaining a lot of movement speed towards us, but I feel like he's bot or he's at base or something. And even if, you know, he does come top, we should be fine. Looks like we got Garen raging in all chat. I didn't see what he said, but I'll look at it when we recall. Bang. I'm going to heal just to get rid of the Warwick thing above my head. So, Garen said, lol, love this game. I mean, I could clearly see. He wasted his W. He wasted his Q. Well, he, like, ran in with his Q and then didn't get it off. 
then he decided to fight me inside my own minions. So even if like, you know, that fight doesn't kill him and he runs away, whatever, we have time, we're just gonna wait for this. Um, whatever, right? He comes in, I'm level up anyway. I've already killed him once, I still have my ignite. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I feel like my settings are kind of messed up. Let me just double check. Quick cast. Have I got this? Mastery. Yeah. And this is my emotes thing. Let's do this one. This is my favorite one. It's a little Ziggs one. I like it. I don't know if it's Ziggs, but it looks like him. So, what was I looking at? Oh yeah, hotkeys. I feel like my summoner spells. DNF. No, they're, they're fine. I feel like, I don't know. I, I feel like I was, I was pressing ignite and I was like pressing F, you know? So, I don't know. It's a bit odd there, but it should be fine. Um... Again, we, we win this because we're level up, and we also now have the advantage. Ah, okay, so he doesn't want to all-in us. I thought he was going to, that's why I went for it, but yeah, in short trades, Garen will always win. Especially early, but in long trades, that's that's all about us, the Trindomir. Okay, see, like this sort of shit? Easy peasy, right? Like, long, you see the difference there? The first one, he, like, queued in, ran away. Second one, he, like, stayed to E me and auto-attack, and he's just gone. Trend is this game for real? What do you mean? Uh, that was kind of bad by me because I don't know where Warwick is. I thought I saw him bot, but I actually don't know. I was reading chat. 30% crit for every second of yours is critting. I don't know what he's saying. Hmm. Like, my, uh, th these sort of arguments I don't get, like, what is he trying to say? If he's trying to say that, like, crit chance is more than it is or whatever, I mean, yeah, sure. Like, 30% is the average, which means that sometimes you'll get 100%, sometimes you'll get 0% in four orders, which is what happened. I got, like, maybe 80% in four orders or 50% or, or something. But, like, if you don't like it, then play a crit champ. Otherwise, just shut up about it. Like... What's Riot gonna do? Like, make it predict- The whole point of crit is it's unpredictable. So if you make it predictable, suddenly it's every third attack crit. So that's, like, that's not how you wanna play the game, because then you'll never get that lucky crit. That's the whole point of crit, is it's meant to be random. If you don't like it, play a crit champ. It's, it's really not that complicated, dude. I'm not gonna fight him even though I'm way ahead of him, because he has so many minions. And because it's Garen. I'm gonna shove him, though. Because I wanna- I wanna start putting some pressure under Warwick. Did he just place a thing in my pink? No, I thought he did. Why is my thing making that? Oh, I think I've got a weird warding totem on this account. Like the the level 101 or whatever. Anyway, looking for this Krugs. Nice. Warwick spot. So I'm just going to take his shit. Garen might be coming. Oh, that means the red's probably up actually if Garen's walking down like that. So he's probably going to ward the red, and then I'm just going to go for it anyway. If he ults, I'm ulting instantly. Okay, cool. Q to get rid of the Warwick buff, and now I'm just going to steal his red. If Warwick comes, I can just fight him, so it's fine. Trend, this is an absolute joke, mate. I'm reported. You're critting almost every hit with 35% crit chance. Jesus. Yeah, I'm just gonna mute him. I will report him for scripting after this, guys. Okay, buddy. I'll report you for toxic. Like, I won't get banned. You probably won't get banned. And if you do, then world's a better place anyway. Now, Warwick is probably top here, but I have his red, so I can probably 2v1. I'm just gonna recall. Like, better safe than sorry, right? There's no real reason to contest this 2v1 unless I have to. I was just saying, like, I could 2v1, but that doesn't mean I should actively look for it. Because then, all Warwick has to do to win is just not come top. And if he doesn't come top, then I've wasted time and wasted a recall. A reset opportunity, I mean. Because there's a difference between a recall and a reset opportunity. See, a forced recall, or just a recall, is basically any time that you press B and go back to base. Right? Not a channel, like the actual recall when you go back to base. Um, however... A reset is when you've got advantage, like gold unspent or whatever, and you need to recall in order to... Lol. I told him that he was coming, so it's whatever. Okay. 
I'm gonna look for a pink and tribush, get control of it. Defensive pink though. Uh Garen could go up here. Nope. My bad from Draven. Garen's roaming still, it's kind of weird. <sighs> Alright, it's okay, we can win this. First tower going down up top. And that's really good for us. Cool. Going for the second tower now. Just uh, spin away. Don't want to take free damage from Garen there. If Garen comes to contest these Krogs, we just kill him anyway. So it's all good. We're going to E the first time, but the second E will save for Garen contest. Oh man, he got one. So good. We don't know where Warwick is, but oh, he's bot. Easy peasy. Now Zed could be coming up, but I feel like if Zed comes, we're fine. We can just either outplay him or run away or whatever. Not going to use my either. And I think I'll save the crit. I think that that's going to be the best. Oh no, I have to because Warwick sent. I have to use my Q. Now we don't have vision over the wall here, so this would be the perfect time for Zed to pop up. Yep, so we're just going to run away. Uh, we got 1900, so I think we're just going to recall and go for PD. Zed is top. He's like the Heim, listen, lol. <laughs> I think this Heim's in like his own little world. I just told him that where Zed was and he was like still pinging missing. Oh, that was Fortuitous Tower. Um, I'm going to go back top. See here, it'd be better for me to go bot and our top to go top, but actually like, no, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't actually. I think no, the best play is me going top. Even like in, in fives, I think here the best play is me going top because I've already taken top tower and I'm threatening inhib. If we send our bot to top, they're just going to get shut down by the Warwick Garen. And if not, like, then why wouldn't I just go? Because I actually think I'm stronger than their 2v. Like, I think I'm stronger than my bot lane. Like, both of my bot lane. Even in, like, a 2v1 situation or whatever. I'm going mid. Okay, Garen's missing, but it should be fine. I'm going to go for Zyra here. Okay, Zyra's gone, but that's fine. Oh, I don't have my ult, lol. I thought I had my ult, I don't. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone for that if I didn't realize I didn't have my ult, lol. I probably could actually still want it, but safety first, right? That's the thing with winning versus getting better, is you just want to play safe. You don't want to take any risk. There's no point, like, risk will make you better, but it will not make you win more. I'm proof of this. Fucking... Fun fact, like before I started this series, I had like a 49%, like overall I still have, I had a 48%, I've still got a 49% win rate overall on this account, but in the, you know, since I started the series, I've got like what, 80%, like 70%, something like that, so obviously like my theory of playing less and playing to win versus playing to improve will increase your, your solo queue rank a lot faster than just playing every game like you're trying to get better, like everyone tells you, play to improve. I, I think you should do that on a smurf, because then you're less stressed when you lose or when you make a mistake. Um, it also reduces the chance of tilt. He's dead. I can't do anything there. He's dead. Oh. Again, like, we're not too worried. You might be thinking, why aren't you, you know, why aren't you carrying yet? Even though I'm so fed. is because it doesn't matter how fed I am. It, like, the same rules apply. I could be 0-10. I could be 10-0. Until I get three items plus tier mat, uh, I cannot hard carry the game. So it doesn't matter how fed I am. Basically how fed you are means it, it's how much faster than them you're going to get to your power spike. Especially if you're an early game champ with like a, a cheaper power spike. But um, the rule is still the same, right? Like, you have to get there. Okay, I'm gonna wait for her to miss her shit. No, she's not going for it. If, if Zyra actually missed her root there, I would've turned and just killed her, to be honest. Okay, heal up a little bit more. Okay, 
good. All right, we're going to recall here, pick up our BF sword. How much is it for essence? Is it 21? 23. Okay, I could sell this for crit cloak, but I think I want this. It's stronger. Yeah, I'm four levels up on Garen if he's still raging. Kind of sucks. I hate when that happens, like... I've spent a lot of time getting really good at the game, and he's just accusing me of cheating. It like it kind of undermines all the effort and work that I put in. Um, it doesn't really, because I still know, but maybe you stop whining. What does he mean? Why did I give that to Draven? Oh, I suppose Draven scales better than me, actually. Generally, um, ADC versus like Yasuo or something, like give it to the ADC, because even though Yasuo and Trind are like insane with with items and like Jax, like ADC will always be better, not because they do more damage, but because they're ranged. So it means that, yeah, sure, if you were attacking, like, an AFK dummy or whatever, I'd probably say the melee does more in general, just by base damages, attack speed, etc. But the one inside of a teamfight who will actually end up being doing more damage, not in, in, and I'm saying, not, like, don't just look, I hate people to do this, they look at the end of the game, they go, this is my damage stats, therefore, no. That literally just means, overall, you did more damage. I'm saying, specifically, in late game team fights, right, um, Draven will do more damage than me, probably, right, with the same items and whatever. Now, even if I end the game with, like, you know, way higher um, damage than him, that doesn't really matter. I could have killed Garen there, but I spun away and now I'm dead. That's my bad. I misplayed it. It's all good, though. I, I could kill him so easily here. I could have killed the Garen. I'm such a bitch. I could have killed the Garen there. Like, right at the end. I thought about it, but it was too risky. There's no point getting shut down. I've got eight kills. I'm like set up for a reset, there's no point. And then I die to Herald. <laughs> nah, I should be fine to Herald, but if Heimerdinger comes, I should be fine. No one's helping me? Hmm. Um, I wasn't worried about Herald killing me when I say I died to Herald. I mean, I was worried about like, I'm doing Herald, someone can test, you know? It's the same way that, sure, five people can do Baron, but you'll die if the enemy team pops up and, you know, kills you all. If that makes sense. That probably doesn't make sense to you guys, but I know what I'm saying and it's correct, so it's whatever. I'm going to take red. I think it's really good on Trindamir and Draven's dead, so I'm going to take it. Wow, they're all so low. Can I, can I do this instead of Jarvan? That would actually be really nice if I could. Thanks, man. Alright, let's go this. They're missing. We don't know where they are. I don't want to pop my Herald because... Even as a distraction, it's not as good anymore because um, they basically made it so Herald does more, but it takes less damage. So it makes it like an ADC. Think of Herald now, instead of being like a, a top laner, he's now an ADC. That's what Herald is. Same rules apply in terms of spawning. So right now I'm not going to spawn it because I could be clearing wave. Uh, if we get it into the tower and, you know, there's waves, I'm not going to spawn it because it's faster to just auto attack. But like between waves like this, I can spawn it. So I'm going to spawn it here. Now this gives them obviously more time. That's the trade-off of spawning it early is, yeah, it's more efficient but it does give them more time to come shut it down. However, I'm confident that like no matter how many people come, I'm gonna be fine. Now this dive could be bad if I die. Okay. So I got the triple, that's good. Zed might just come over this wall, so I'm just gonna back up. If he Ws, I'm just gonna get away. Okay, it's fine. No, he doesn't have his W now. And he doesn't have his Q either, so I'm gonna E flash here. Alright, Warwick's here, so we're just gonna leave. Cool. So that was a pretty good Herald. I mean, we got bot tower, we got like four kills or something, so. I think it's fine. building. Oh, fuck, I'm retarded. Ginzu's, that's it. I thought I would have the money for it, that's why I was surprised. I sold my Doran's blade there, not for the Rage Blade, even though that would have been fine, but I actually sold it for a pink. And at this point, this is my power spike I was talking about. Rage Blade, Essence Reaver, PD, <laughs> Tiamat Boots, Pink Ward, Power Spike. So selling my thing there to get my power spike maybe like 20 seconds earlier, and also having a stronger power spike with the pink versus no pink, Perfectly in time for Baron. Like, I think that was definitely a really good play by me. 
Um, we don't care that they have a ward here, because we can just take it. Don't take the ward, you... God, why would you take the ward? They already know we're here, you dipshit. Oh my god, fuck this guy. I don't get why people take the wards. It doesn't... Fuck. Ah! Oof. I'm recalling again. I don't get it, like, we had a pink. Their ward is not doing anything. We're trying to do Baron before they get here. Why would you take the ward? I don't think they should fight that Garen. It's like one kill for not really a lot of gain because we can't take Baron without me anyway. Whew. Oh, he wasn't even close. I thought he would be close to killing someone. Okay. GG. Alright, that's game. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we just stomped and hard carried. So, that's going to be game. Let's just, uh, I'll switch scenes so you guys can see the post game. But yeah, guys, uh, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to uh, leave a like uh, to let me know. If you uh, didn't like the video, obviously dislike it. But remember, guys, if you dislike and then don't leave a comment, then I'm just going to make the same thing next time. So um, if you actually don't like it, then then tell me like what you don't like about it in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll talk. I, I respond to every comment pretty much, at least like if they're like reasonable, I respond to them. If there's something dumb, like, oh, you're an idiot, then obviously I'm probably not going to respond, but... Anyway, alright, um, so got plus 20, 74 LP now, uh, in gold 4, S+, plus. yeah, it's good. So anyway guys, subscribe, new video, uh, Burst Fight Challenge every day, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, and, uh, I have a donate link if you want to give me a dollar, or whatever, but again, not expecting that, no pressure at all, it's up to you guys. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later, goodbye.